Hearing of the Judiciary Committee uh, is called to order. Uh, please take your seats and welcome to all of our witnesses. I am very grateful to uh, my colleague, Senator Durbin, for giving me this opportunity to chair the hearing. And uh, we wish him a very, very speedy recovery. He evidently had knee surgery. Uh, I believe it may have been because of a college sports injury. Uh, and uh, I don't know exactly uh, all the details of his sports prowess. I've seen him in the Senate gym. But uh, all of you know our colleague, uh, Senator Booker, who is truly a college athlete star and very knowledgeable on this topic and a partner with me in longstanding efforts to reform the system. I want to thank our ranking member, Senator Graham, who's been very interested and involved in this issue. And I'm going to put in the record a statement from Chairman Durbin uh, before I begin my remarks. Uh, we all know today uh, that this system of college athletes is in need of reform. Uh, that's why you're here. It's in need of reform now, which is why we're here. The system all too long and often has been exploitive and abusive financially, emotionally, physically. And we have had a number of hearings in other committees, uh, the Commerce Committee, as well as this one. And I am hopeful that this very impressive bipartisan group of witnesses can help to guide us toward specific steps with a sense of urgency that is appropriate for this kind of problem. Uh, the system, very simply, has been far more focused on profits than protecting students. And it has failed to safeguard them against the abusive and often exploitive system that takes advantage of their blood, sweat, and tears in creating a $16 billion industry. Make no mistake, it is a $16 billion or more industry that is fueled by the blood, sweat, and tears of these athletes. And all too often, they fail to benefit from it. Many states have passed NIL legislation. The Supreme Court has ruled in a 9 to 0 decision that has forced, in a sense, a day of reckoning. And I believe strongly that we need a national standard for name, image, and likeness, mainly to protect the athletes against potential disreputable agents or unscrupulous deals in a race to the bottom among a patchwork of states. That's important, not only to protect the schools against unfair competition, but also the athletes themselves. And the idea of a national standard is what brings us here today in a very Im immediate sense. Student athletes are better off now than they were, and many of your organizations have recognized the need for change. Uh, Charlie Baker, the head of the NCAA, specifically outlines some of the reforms that they have taken voluntarily. We've all read and heard alarming examples of these instances of exploitation and abuse. Uh, every year, at least two college football players die of heat stroke. Just three months ago, Mizell Law from Mid-America, Nazarene in Kansas, was found in a locker room after football practice, suffering a seizure with a body temperature of 108 degrees. Mizell never recovered, and he died a week later. Heat stroke is one of the most gruesome ways to die, truly horrible. It's absolutely preventable. These deaths are a product of bullying, a win-at-all-costs culture that is far too common in athletic departments. That culture creates the condition that costs the lives of talented young men and women like Mizell. 
and it fosters the abuse of hazing and sexual assault that we've seen at Baylor, Northwestern, San Jose State, and elsewhere. The NCAA in past years has failed to address this abuse as quickly and effectively as it should have. I agree uh, that we should set a strong national standard and we ought to enshrine it in federal law enforceable, not just put it in the statutes, but make sure that it is enforceable, either through the uh, separate corporation that Senator Booker and I have proposed to enforce an athlete's bill of rights, or through some other means. As importantly as NIL, though, uh, we need to address enforceable health and safety standards much more broadly and comprehensively. We need to ensure that college athletes are able to get an education in return for their blood, sweat, and tears. In July, I was proud to announce a draft bipartisan bill with Senator Booker and Senator Moran, the College Athletes Protection and Compensation Act. Our draft legislation would establish a strong national NIL standard, but it would also protect the well-being and educational success of student athletes. Our student athletes' rights package would set health and safety standards to protect college athletes from serious injury, mistreatment, abuse, and even death. It would guarantee tuition and aid to student athletes that suffer a career-ending injury or are cut from a team. It would establish a medical trust fund to cover health care for long-term injuries resulting from college athletes' participation in sports and it would bring transparency to the NIL market and to college athletes programs. We've talked about these kinds of reforms for more than a decade. The time for action is now. There are lives ongoing, careers at stake, individuals who really need and deserve this kind of protection. And I'm very grateful to Senator Durbin and the committee for addressing this topic and I'd like to turn now to